Registered phenomena code 300. Designation Jellyfish's Revenge. Object class Beta Orange. Hazard types Organic Hazard, Grouped Hazard, Toxic Hazard, Contact Hazard. Containment protocols All contained instances of RPC 300 are currently hosted in Oceanic Research Site 005. Instances are housed in appropriate habitats designed for non-anomalous instances of jellyfish. Staff researching or handling instances of RPC-300 are to wear protective coverall suits at all times. Exposure to RPC-300-1 is to be treated immediately through the same means as regular jellyfish venom. Description RPC-300 is a subspecies of lion's mane jellyfish, Cyania tabulata, located within various seas of the English Ocean. Instances of RPC-300 are by all standards identical to non-anomalous jellyfish, in exception that they produce RPC-300-1. RPC-300-1 is the venom produced by RPC-300 instances. Components of RPC-300-1 are not fully known, however. Research has shown subjects that are stung by RPC-300 experience phenomena linked to nearby surrounding instances of RPC-300. Any subjects within a one-meter radius of RPC-300 instances that have not yet recovered from the venomous components of RPC-300-1 are prone to experiencing severe pressure in the cranium. Testing has shown the location of such pressure to correspond to the location of pressure applied onto the umbrella top of RPC-300 instances in the surrounding area at the time. Pressure is often described by subjects to feel as if they are being poked or prodded by some physical object or that they are being weighed down by some type of heavy force. Pressure experienced by subjects will worsen the longer they go without RPC-300-1 being properly treated. In the event that an instance of RPC-300 is neutralized while in the effect range of a subject stung by an instance, Subjects will experience excruciating pain throughout the cranium for a period of several hours before expiring. The neutralization of multiple RPC-300 instances within the effect range of subjects has proven to quicken this process, causing severe pressure to the cranium and rupture of the subject's brain. Addendum 1. Dissection of deceased subjects neutralized by the killing of multiple RPC-300 instances has shown the rupturing of the brain to originate from within the frontal lobe. Testing has shown that the frontal lobe of affected subjects will expand in size before fracturing and breaking the cranium. When examined, the inside of subjects' frontal lobes will contain a multitude of Ephraia, baby, instances of RPC-300. The highest amount of instances recorded thus far has exceeded 400. The cause of this phenomena is currently unknown.